but it do cause me crew. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I got another video for you. So my next Gemini is Andre 3000. Okay. Three stacks. I've never done a reading on Andre 3000. You know, he stayed to himself. Um, don't bother nobody as far as we know, right? But <laughs> it was by request. Thank you for the request. All your suggestions, your likes, your comments. So, I don't know if Andre 3000 attracts a lot of gold diggers, okay, or he tries to stay away from them. I feel like, of course, it's obvious he's very book smart. He's a scholar, okay, kind of a geek, a nerd, all right. There's definitely something here. He might be like, he low-key might, um, what'd she say? I love dealing with a rich nigga, because he gonna trick and I'm gonna trick, but he gonna trick bigger, Okay. I feel like if he like you, he might. <laughs> you feel me? It's um. It's definitely. I already feel Erica Badu's energy. There's something here about a root worker, um, spiritualist, a conjurer. But it feels like there's something about him turning his back against that stuff. I feel like he's more into the scientific, analytical, logical, um, technical part of the universe. And looking for answers that way. But. Yeah it's definitely something about. Um, it's like. The metaphysical doesn't really interest him. He's more into the analytical. Uh, I feel like he might be a good cook. But I feel like. It's like he likes to expand his mind on different subjects. But there's also something about Andre 3000 will take you out to eat. Okay. He like to go on dates or some shit. <laughs> I feel like he's a very lenient parent. He may have also been unsupervised a lot as a child. But instead of turning to the streets, turned to... um. The books turn to knowledge. I feel like he's a like he's very tech savvy. Some here about being a hacker, a coder. Okay. I feel like as far as holistic healing, he may be into that side of the metaphysical in the root working, healing naturally, but the actual astronomical, um, astrological, occult practices, is like he kind of, kind of shies away from. But when it comes to health concerns and healing the body naturally with herbs and the earth, I feel like that's where he might, it's like definitely teas and tinctures, things of that nature. But I feel like he's a little scared of witches <laughs> and seers <laughs> um because it is not tangible like it's it's too it's too much um i don't even know how to put it like it's it's not concrete it's not there's no okay there's no proof he needs something with proof and solid evidence He's not really good. It's, it's definitely giving me kind of like a, um, I wouldn't say autistic, but like a, maybe an ADHD kind of, like his mind is, it feels a bit on the spectrum. Like he needs like tangible things. Like his, it's very logical. It has to have concrete evidence. There's also something here about, um, breaking generational curses, being really good with his money. Okay, investing his money into things. I feel like he's been very fortunate. He might believe in fate and destiny. Okay, fulfilling things. 
Um, I feel like he believes in miracles. Like he believes in the spiritual realm, but he there's definitely this part of him that's scared of it because you it's like you can't control it. Those outside forces forces of elemental nature. So maybe these these are conversations that he's had. Cause I don't know why it's such a big problem. Why it's such a hot topic. Okay. So maybe in his Gemini mind, he kind of bounces back and forth between what he believes, the seen and the unseen. Okay. Because he believes in fate and he believes in destiny and miracles and things happening and things occurring. But being like hesitant because it's like how? He needs, he's one of those people, he needs to know how. How does this work? How does this function? We're the mechanics. You feel me? Something about, he might have been like, um, I don't know if he had like a near-death experience. But I, I get a sense there's something about um, going back into his memories, his Akashic Records. I forget what it's called. When you, you have a session and they go through your mind and they like open up your past lives. But it's something here about being saved from like a near-death experience, divine intervention coming. Okay, and he might have had a flash of what he was in the past. I feel like he, he can dream hop. Definitely skilled on the astral plane. Now, when it comes to, I'm just going to call it like I see it, when it comes to his his sexuality, I feel like he, he likes threesomes, okay, he likes group sex. I don't feel like he's really good at being tied down, okay, he likes his freedom when it comes to who he can sleep with, who he can be with. Okay, there's definitely something about sex magic. There's a part of him that's, it's like he's too smart, that he won't accept just natural power. Like he always has to find a logical explanation for You see, I can't even find the words because it's like, it, just let it be. 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 Well, like, he's a powerful, it's like he doesn't want, he doesn't want to claim his metaphysical assets and abilities and gifts. Like, he wants to attest it to some type of, you know, just knowledge and, and um, wisdom I feel like he can probably make things move with his hands make things move with his mind I feel like he can he speaks things into existence and it scares him that's the thing he's so powerful that it scares him like he's the power of his tongue is so strong that it scares him The power of his mind is so strong that he shies away from it. But yeah, he liked the fucking group. He like he like three sons and there's definitely a bit of infidelity. And he's very open minded, open to all different facets of religions and different um sects and beliefs. I feel like he doesn't have um one thought process that he allows to be very open with his knowledge he's it's, it's some gemini shit he's open to learning open to new concepts new ideas okay new traditions learning about each and everything and how how they correlate and how they accumulate and how they relate to each other and look Thank you. He's a fucking wizard. He's an occultist. He might be a mason. Definitely a practitioner. 
It's like if he would just accept that. It took all of this. It took all of this just to admit <laughs> that he's a fucking witch doctor. He's a practitioner. Very powerful. Very spiritual. If he would allow himself to be. I don't feel he would call it that. I feel like he would say it's more of an alchemist. Okay. Definitely interlooping the scientific aspect of alchemy and how you transform and using the laws of nature and the different elements. Like when you, um, you know, change gases into liquid and how, you know, that is a supernatural thing, but it also includes very logical, concise steps. Anything else, child? Sound like a whole lot of bullshit in the me. Just admit it, bro. Um, there's definitely this Phoenix energy. He likes to rebuild himself. And he it's like psychologically tearing himself down so that he can continue to master himself. It's like he's very hard on himself. He'll like it's like he doesn't want to give himself any credit. Because he's always like searching. Always on the search. Always searching for some type of revelation. And that, that has a lot to do with keeping his mind sharp and staying young. Not wanting to get too comfortable. Always wanting to be accessible to new information. And like leveling up. And putting himself in harm's way so that he can strategically like master the situation. One more. That is not one. Part nah. Anyway, all that thinking, all all that thinking, just do the fuck. It's it's too it's 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 too much thinky for me personally. I'm about action. All this over processing and over analyzing and trying to. Be precise and critique. You know how he is with his words. It's like, bitch, just... Just say what you mean and mean what you say. All those, it's like, all these... Like, everything he says is like, it's like a puzzle. It's like a riddle. There's all these loopholes. And it's... It's... Magic. There's also something here about an open murder case. Okay? I feel like he also might have, like, had stints of suicidal thoughts. Okay, he may even... I definitely saw something about being poisoned or set up. There's been a lot of things that occurred throughout his life. But yes, child. Definitely an interesting mind. An interesting being. Okay. But if you ask me, he's a scholar. And he's a he's an alchemist. He's a very well rounded AT alien. <laughs> Period. He's like trying to cloak all of his his spiritual essence in like arithmetic. Like whatever. Whatever. I'm going to call it like I see it. This motherfucker is a wizard. Okay. And he know it. And he into sex magic. And um, other occult shit. Natural holistic healing and shit. Okay. Until next time.